Hello again my dudes, welcome back to the channel, this is Kadim and bringing you another Elden Ring build video. This time we're not going to focus on using DLC weapons, the armor set is from the DLC, for that drip, for that good look, but the weaponry and Ashes of War is just from the base game. Let's take a look at the build, we're using the Watchdog's Heavy Great Sword with Storm Stomp. I was asked some time ago um, by one of the viewers to do something with the Storm Stomp and this is my best take on it. Um, the Storm Stomp itself doesn't really do any damage but what it does allow is for you to true combo with the R1 with the sword straight away. So all you have to do is Storm Stomp and then R1 and this will true combo as long as you're not trading a hit with the enemy if they don't have hyper armor it will combo every time. For the rest of the build, I'm using the Finite Helm for the extra juice um, with the HP, Stamina and Equip Load. The armor set, it's the Solitude one with the Greaves, Gauntlets and Chest Piece. The Talisman, I'm using the Shattered Stone Talisman just to increase the potency of the Stomp. Um, Two-Handed Sword Talisman, Herd Tree's Favor because we need that extra HP, Stamina and Equip Load for this build. And the Great Shards are Snow because everything we are wearing is quite heavy. And this keeps us at a medium load, so we can roll out of things. We also have 88 Poise, which is the sweet spot I like to be, uh, to be able to roll out of our ones from the normal weapons. Exalted Flesh is the only consumable you really need with this build. We are going all in on strength, because the weapon itself, as you can see, is one of the few weapons that actually scales S with strength, so that's the reason why I chose this one. The attributes are required 30 strength and 10 dexterity. The weapon itself has a sweet 881 attack rate with the stats I currently have. But when you consume the Exalted Flesh, it goes up to 1057. So this thing actually hits really hard and it's really good. It has a lot of poise damage as well, which you will see against the bosses that are coming in the PvE examples. And it's an amazing uh, setup, um, very pleased, it's very good for both PvE and PvP. And when you are fighting bosses and you've got your Mimic with you using this setup, it's just annihilation because the poise damage to the bosses is so big that you will be able to stun them quite quickly and do tremendous amounts of damage. Let's take a look at the stats, I'm 151 with 60 Vigor, 15 in mind, just so I can have enough stomps going, Endurance at 37, Strength at 80, Dexterity, Intelligence, Faith and Arcane, don't really matter here, you only need 10 Dexterity for the requirements of the weapon. And that's pretty much it guys, not a lot of science here with this build, it's a Strength build, focus on the Watchdog and the Stomp, not a lot more going on, enough talking, let's watch those examples. Starting with the Black Knight, I consume the Exalted Flash. On the Flask, I've got the tier that increases the stagger damage and the tier that increases damage but consumes HP, as you can see. But then, the, the just it's just, there's no words. It's just, the guy can't even move. It's just annihilation. GG. Now, for the Chief uh, Blood Fiend. Unfortunately, my Mimic really really need some therapy this guy just can't let go of the enemies outside the fog look he's already stuck to the fog as you can see on the screen and here I am just trying to get some room to buff myself the guys uh, on the other side of the fog are also casting their little spells and stuff which is a bit of annoying I just want to get a little bit of room so I can buff and the mimic is not cooperating look Ah, he finally realized there's a boss in the room, huh? It didn't take you that long, did it? He does a nice 500 damage with a stomp, which is not a lot, but it, the importance is just so we can combo and do a lot of stagger damage. I finally get to consume the Exalted Flesh, now all I need is the Flask, and then I'm ready to roll. Flask it is. Now let's dance. I actually get hit the first time because I didn't realize he was about to jump, but then... 4k per hit with um, this main machine as you can see I even stunned him and it's a GG. Now let's go for the PvP examples. Um, Exalted Flesh, I like to have the FT Rot Pods just for the juiciness and to they also work as bait and to keep up the pressure. This guy is coming with backhands 
and uh, using um, the Divine Frost Stomp, which is um, actually an Ash of War I like, and I made a build video with it already. Unfortunately, my Stomp didn't really get to stagger him, but it is okay. Um, just gotta get that room. Then I'm gonna trade some hits. Um, I got I got the Hyper Armor Stomp, and then another R1. 800 damage per hit is quite a heavy hit. And then I'm gonna get to trap him with the Stomp with the um, FT Pot and then just finish him with the R1. Now this guy also using backhands. I gotta say, I see more and more people using the backhand, which is fine, I don't blame them. But it just kinda starts making the arena a bit repetitive. Um, so I might I might start considering doing more invasions than, than arena at some point, because it's just everybody uses the same thing. Which is fine, it's legit, We people want to use what works. Um, but it just <laughs> it becomes boring to fight the same thing over and over again. The blind spot, however, it's funny because the stomp actually prevents you from getting hit. So, beautiful skill. I call the stomp the anti-blind spot spam. Because if they start spamming it, you just have to spam stomp and they won't hit you with it. And it's a GG. Now this guy, I actually fought him twice. Um, this was the first round. Um, I don't think... I don't think he was prepared for what was going to follow. So there you go, Stomp, R1, the pot for the bait. I actually get to hit him, so he got himself the rot. And then we're gonna go try another Stomp. There you go, Stomp, R1, GG. It's pretty easy to use this build, there's no real secret. Now here's the second round, he actually started with um, that lovely spell that everybody loves. I, I, I don't think I ever got hit by that, doesn't really matter. I got the rot straight away, he's going with the other version that just goes down, so I just threw another pot for the fun. Uh, I'm not gonna double rot him, but it was just fun to throw another rot. That will never hit me, my friend. Um, I know what it does, and I've made a build with it already, so I don't think I'll ever get hit by that. Stomp, missed, okay, no problem, running R1. Stomp, uh, didn't reach, jumping R2 it is, here we go, missed, okay, jumping R2, boom, GG. Next fight, we got Lunar, fought this guy a few times, he's quite cool, here we go, got those pots on the ready, oh, gotta be careful with that, pot, here we go, boom, got him rot, the pressure building up. Oh, blind spot. Nice. I like to see that. No, here we go. Stomp. No, he didn't go blind spot again. That's fine. There we go. The trade is a GG. This gives me a lot of hyper armor, so I'm good to go. Now, oh, okay. This has been a bit of a rush. That's fine. Stomp. No. Oh, he's using the storm stuff. Oh, how did that hit me? I was too far. How did that not hit him? I love lag. Leg is one of my favorite things. There we go. Stomp. R1. No. He dodged. Okay. Let's try again. No. Stomp. R1. Nearly done. 900. 900 damage per hit is not too bad. <laughs> I would say. Stomp. R1. There you go. GG. It's, sim it's very easy to use this. And the more you practice, the more um, you start to, to be able to pull the combo quite easily. Oh, hold on. No, I don't want to throw him if he's buffing. Okay. Are we ready now? Okay, let's go. Exalted Flash. Oh, okay. I'm covered in oil now. All right. Oh, I see. That's going to hurt. Ooh, Jesus. I should have seen that coming. No problem. Still got this. He's got the rot. So I just need to... Okay. Oh, that's it. GG. You should have stayed away, buddy. Now... Here we go again. Ooh, okay. Let's go then. Oh, I got hit by that before and I didn't like it. No, okay. I got hyper armor too. How the hell did that miss? The tracking sometimes of the colossals are just funny. Anyway, R1. No, that didn't reach. Jumping attack. Ooh, 900 damage. Oh, okay. I should have done another stomp there. I'll just 
try to get him. Yeah, it worked. Bait with the FT pot and then finished with the R1. There we go. Another guy. Oh, everybody's using that as well. That's cool. Not a problem. Oh, that was a bad trade. Although, I did get him rocked. So that's all that matters. Pressure building up. Stomp. There you go. If they roll into the stomp, they will still get hit. So that's one of the cool things about the stomp. Is even if they dodge roll, um, but they roll inside the stomp, they will still get hit most times. As you can see, stomp, R1, GG. Very simple build. Fun, effective, works for PvP, works for PvE. You guys gotta try this one if you haven't just yet. We got someone with the Margot sword. Oh, I love that weapon. There we go. I need to make a build with the new spells that um, might combine with that sword. It's actually a cool one. I like the look of it. However, stomp, R1, stomp, R1, GG. I had a feeling he was going to try to hit me with the Ash of War more than once. I've got Ice um, fighting me this time. I fought this guy countless times. We have a funny thing going. I win, he wins, I win, he wins, I win, he wins. It's just fun with this guy. Um, here he comes with a fully charge, but I don't mind. I'll take the trade with the running R2, and then I'll finish him off with the Storm to R1. GG, brother. Next guy. Um, I actually fought this guy before. Um, he's okay, he's cool. But he's coming with Hanawa's. Um, light great swords which is not ideal against this thing because I'll just stomp and interrupt you and then do the R1s here he comes no he changed his mind try the jumping attack didn't work okay stomp R1 and then I'm gonna finish him off with a pot if I can oh I missed that one didn't miss GG I'll just watch him rot <laughs> sorry bro GG here we go Another fight. This time I got Camco. I fought this guy a few times as well. I think he changes build quite frequently. Um, just like me. He's coming with a Flux. Which is cool because... Ooh, 1200 with the running R2. Jesus. Oh, Ash of War to Stomp R1. Perfect. Easy win. GG, bro. Now, I fought this guy a few times as well. Um... He did spend most of the fights just running around, <laughs> which was a bit annoying. I had to chase him all the time. There we go. Take that little poke. No, he runs away. Okay, that's fine. No, try another stomp to R1. No, no need. I'll just run R1 you and Ro will catch you. GG. Now, Lumi again. Uh, I just fought this guy um, one or two rounds ago. Here he comes with his um, Renawa's uh, light great swords. Oh, I got him to rot again. <laughs> I don't think he likes the rot pots. Um, and there we go. Stone Power 1. Oh, I didn't get, manage to roll catch. Stone Power 1 again just to finish off. GG. Again, fighting monster energy. Get that exalted flesh going. Oh, okay, he's coming with the Glaive now, that's fine. I'll just trade, I don't mind the trade, I do 800 damage per hit. Ooh, running R2 for 990 damage. I will trade, it's, it's, yeah, the first R1 was the bait, brother, sorry. Here we go again. Another caster, another sorcerer, that's fine, not a problem. You got spells, that's fine. Ooh, I actually got hit there. Oh, okay, you're gonna spam R1, you sure? Stone power one. Okay. FT pot for the bait. No. Okay. Stone power one. GG. <laughs> Easy. This is going to be the last round, guys. Um, as you can see, the build doesn't have a lot of, to it. It's pretty simple. Very effective. Works for PvP. Works for PvE. It's fun. It's strong. You're tanky. You do very good damage. And I don't know, there is no reason not to try this one. I do recommend it. If you guys are new to the channel, I do appreciate if you could subscribe. It does help the channel and I truly appreciate the continuous support. For my regular viewers, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you in the next video.
as well. Here we go, just a poke and finish the job. Thank you all for watching, guys. Take care. Cheerio!